Hi friends, welcome to my channel Go Cool and Be Cool Leader to Training Program Examination Tips and Tricks for ISO 27001 2022. So all friends generally generally used to ask us like what is the difference between 2013 and then the version change recently 2022. So we are going to see the old version as well as the new version, what all the new addendums so we have in this particular 27001 uh, information security management. So let's see like you know how the changes we have and then one by one. Okay, let's go to the video. Yeah, welcome back. Delighted training program examination tips and tricks for ISO 27001 2022. Let's see that what are the difference between 2013 version and 2022 version so that you can understand the difference between old as well as the new version of 27001. So first we will understand 20, ISO 27001 2013 is a part of ISO so IEC 27003 so which is a family of the standards that addresses various aspects of information security. It provides a comprehensive and then holistic approach to managing information security covering areas such as risk assessment, security policy, asset management, access control, incident management and then business continuity. Okay. As far as 27001 2022 is concerned, it emphasizes the risk based approach requiring organization to access their information security risk and implement appropriate controls to mitigate those risks. It covers the various aspects of information security, including asset management, human resource security, physical and then environmental security, communications and then operation management, and compliance with the legal and then regulatory requirements. So, those are all the areas covered as far as 2022 is concerned but 2013 we have only limited scope okay let's see in depth like what it talks about too much so we have a difference of uh, 2013 2022 okay so let's compare the two versions in detail as far as structure and format it's mainly concerned iso 27000 2013 follows the annex rsl a high level of secure structured and then common framework in many iso management system standards it consists of 10 classes as far as 22 is concerned retains the annex RSL structure but adds additional classes and subclasses it consists of the 12 classes so i will explain in the last slides okay as far as the risk assessment and the treatment is concerned in 2013 it requires organization to identify and access risk to their information assets and apply appropriate controls to mitigate them so ISO 2022 emphasizes what actually the need for the risk based approach integrating risk management principle uh, throughout the standard it introduces the concept of risk based rethinking focusing on the organization objectives and then outcome is concerned. So now the next point what we have let's compare the uh, context of the organization like the ISO 27001-2013 require organization determine the scope of their ISMS and understand the internal and the external factors that affect it. ISO 2022 is concerned expands uh, on the organization context emphasizing the importance of considering legal regulatory con then, uh, contractuals and other obligations related to the information security okay now the leadership and then commitment requires top management to demonstrate leadership and commitment to the ISMS by establishing a policy assigning roles and ensuring available resources ISO 27001 is concerned and then says the leadership and commitment requirements focusing on engagement that is a very important thing of top management and their active involvement in the ISMS. Okay, next one planning what it requires organization to define objectives and develop plans to achieve them considering the results of the risk assessment as far as 2022 is concerned expands on the planning requirement emphasizing the need uh, to identify opportunities and integrating information security into organization processes. As far as support is concerned, 27001-2013 covers the requirement for resources, competency, awareness, communication and then document information. So in that maintains this requirement but adds additional guidance on managing information and knowledge. Final operation. 27001-2013 focuses on implementing controls and processes to manage risk and protect information assets. ISO 2020 introduces the concept of information resilience, emphasizing the importance of maintaining information's availability, integrability, integrity, and then reliability. So these are all the areas like we have the comparison. So mainly 2022 talks it's widely about 
the uh, risk based approach and everything okay now final thing is that performance evaluation how it's supposed to be 2013 requires organization to monitor measure analysis and evaluate the performances of the ismrs <coughs> 2022 expands on the performance evaluation requirement emphasizing the needs of our systematic approach to monitoring measuring analyzing and then evaluating the effectiveness and efficiency of the ismrs improvement 2013 focuses on taking uh, corrective actions and consistently uh, continuously improving the ismrs but 2022 retains the improvement requirements and emphasizes the need for continual improvement including the adoption of emerging technology and then practices that is the main area we have to focus on those kind of area so now we are going to see that 11 new control introduced in the iso 27001-2022 revision so what are the areas is now let's see that first area is a that is a 5.7 threat intelligence 5.30 ict readiness for business continuity a 8.9 configuration management data masking monitoring effect activities as secure coding Okay, now he talks about information security so for the use of cloud service that is a A5.23. And then physical security monitoring A7.4. Annexed A, these are all the areas as which talk up, talks about annexed A. And then uh, information deletion, data leakage prevention, web filtering. So those are all the areas. Now the major changes as far as the revision of 2022 is concerned. Now the 11 new controls. So what it talks about the same like you know threat intelligence physical security monitoring DOS one so this is the area like we have to focus so please understand my dear friends please go for it and then you can talk about a lot understand about ict readiness for business continuity information security use of cloud service and then threat intelligence so these three areas is which indicates the new transformations as far as the cloud and business continuity and threat intelligence is concerned so mainly on say cyber security so 2022 overall so finally we are going to discuss about what it generally talks about as far as 2013 and 2022 is concerned so overall provides a more modernized and flexible approach to information security management it considers the evolving threat landscape aligns with other management system standards and focuses on the organization specific context and the risk so that is the main area like please understand so once you start uh, your uh, preparations for this later training program please go one by one let's see how uh, it's supposed to be like you know holistically bring you the beautiful examination tips and tricks to you so finally let's learn and level up ourselves and let us help and support others so without pain there is no gain i hope you like this video so please give your valuable comments so that i can also level up myself so and share to your beloved ones so thank you very much and thanks for watching